I just want to go back really quickly to something that you said that you kind of like skated past uh-huh. where you were like, oh, when I have their hard dick in my hand, they're like, are you Phoenix Marie? But you're talking about this in some kind of like medically professional way. I'm assuming that's when you're dealing with erectile dysfunction. Correct. So and how I- does that even work? Because I know nothing about how okay. one goes into an office and like, how does, what happens? So as men grow older, uh, I will say Johnny Castle is totally cool with me, like BSing that he comes in here, his dick gets hard no matter what. That's not the problem, but he just does it because it kind of makes the ejaculate better, makes the erections better, makes the sensitivity better. Mm. Does make you wider and longer too. So it's just kind of that's just the added benefit. So we brought it on, and he was so sweet to be my like training buddy because I needed somebody who was comfortable to do a training video for the office. Who better than Johnny Castle, right? I was like, hey, you don't mind being naked and being filmed, right? And it's yeah. with me. Everyone's like, I was waiting for you to start sucking his dick. I swear. I was like, no. But <laughs> it's just one of those things of guys realize they have ED. They come in and see me. I help tell them what the best plan of action is, I guess is the best way to put it. And then we go from there. So if they have really severe ED, we have something called a PRP injection, which is a P shot, Dr. Reynolds invented. And it's really neat. Like it's the same they use for vampire facials. So if you ever Yeah, I was I've heard that before. Okay. So he actually invented that too. And then one day he got intoxicated and he injected his penis and he was like, Holy shit, this is amazing. So we went to Fairhope, Alabama and actually learned how to do it directly from him, this Mm -hmm. P shot. So you can use that and it heals all the valves inside the penis. Wow. And so as men get older, circulation's an issue for everybody, right? Especially if we like sugar. So if I have to use an artery, two main arteries called the peridotal arteries to feed that shaft to get hard and there's plaque and platelets, first thing that they can tell they have any heart issues or circulatory issues is ED. So I would basically medically diagnose them with what's wrong. And then we get to the bed part. Now, some guys are like straight up from the get go. Yeah. So uh, I just want to let you know, I know who you are and I'm all, okay. You're about to spend six thousand dollars to treat your penis erection problem. Like, come on in. I don't care. <laughs> oh, you know who I am. I hope you jerk off about this later. Like, it's fine. Yeah. And then a gentleman come in from California. We're in Vegas, right? He did not tell me that he knew who I was. We we emailed back and forth. He's like, uh, all of a sudden, like we were. There's a penis like pump, like in the old school movies, where you have to stick your penis in mm-hmm. it fills it up, right? And then you let it down, but that's a whole other thing. And he's all, yeah, so pump things fixed. And he goes, by the way, I joined your website. I was like, I'm sorry, what? And my ED was cured. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he, he even said, he goes, everything's working great. Like, I, I really want to sponsor your website. I didn't think that you were going to be the technician to actually do the erectile dysfunction. I thought maybe you were just being paid to talk about it. And I was like, yeah, like, no. Help. Yeah, be the spokesperson. Yeah. And I was like, actually, no, this is my job job. I'm like, well, okay. Porn is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, medical office, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like it, Thursdays are like my, okay. If I have to go to LA to shoot, I will. But for the most part, everything is in Vegas right now. So. Right. Wait. Okay. So sorry. I just, I need more detail about this erectile dysfunction thing. Cause I just, so you give them the shot and then do they get hard immediately like, where so, is the, the you holding their hard penis in your hand? Where does that part come in? That's what I okay. do. So, what's funny, so we're going to do just gaze wave, not the P-shot, okay? So the P-shot okay. is like five injections into the corpus cavernosums, which are, there's two main arteries that feed the penis, okay? Right, okay. So the peridotal arteries into the corpus cavernosum, well, the tip of the penis is the spongiosum. It's a gland. It's where all their sensitivity comes from. So you inject the base of that spongiosum, the head of the penis, and then down the shaft twice, but we do a block because they don't need to feel any pain. So it doesn't get their penis hard. So like the trimix, the cover jets, those are the ones that like male performers use on set. Right. Those are horrible for you. They actually right. cause you to get a penis pump, inje- you know, done. And the injections only last at some point. Like one of our very familiar friends that has a penis pump, he was doing the injections three, three times a scene to stay hard for like two hours for stills and that. And he said, mommy, like it's, it's painful. Like you don't understand. And then he went and got a penis bump. So they actually also cause peronies. Have you ever fucked a dude with a crooked dick? I think like, so. Hmm. Yeah. I think so, so some of the guys, even in porn. And now I know that like, Hey, you inject cause your dick started to curve and it didn't curve before. 
So when they inject, it causes scar tissue. So I had a gentleman that came in and he literally was 45 degrees mid shaft. So from the base to the mid shaft, it literally broke off 45 degrees because he started injecting with the Trimix, like the Mel Talent, some of them use, not all. Right. And it literally kept doing this. And then one morning he woke up and it was completely, so I'm like, oh wow. God. And we fixed him. We actually got him almost completely straight. I'd say he's more like this, not fully this, but he's more yeah. this. He was so grateful because, I mean, imagine you're only four inches total and two of it's going the other way. Yeah. But, wow. And then when they, when they get hard, I'm just like, okay, that's cool. It's expected. I have guys that pre come. That's a little bit like, hey, let's Oh, see. I see what you're saying. So the them getting an erection is just like kind of a natural reaction to someone yeah. touching their penis. You're not jerking them off to see if the ED treatment no. worked. Okay. It's Got it. Medical. Got it. I wish. I'm all, I, like, well, I didn't know if that was a medical thing, if you would need it to test to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, hold on. I don't know. You're right. No, no. I definitely need to clarify. You're 100% right. That was on me. <laughs> but like, we have a machine it's called uh, extracorporeal shockwave therapy. It's not electricity or anything like that. But it feels like somebody's studying you on the side. And it literally feels like a massage to a guy's dick. So they're just yeah. stoked as fuck. They're like, oh my God, hold on. Oh yeah, that feels really good. I'm like, and pre cum. So one, they know Phoenix Murray's doing it and I'm massaging their dick with this extracorporeal shockwave therapy. So they're like, fuck yeah. Like, and now my dick's, I don't have ED anymore. Some of them, if it's mental, cause you know, guys are all mental, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just tell them straight out. I'm all, I can't fix mental problems. And I don't mean to be mean, but a lot of men have that, especially if they had one incidence of ED. You remember like how many guys come to set and they're doing great. And all of a sudden the girl says something and gets in their head and now they can't get hard the rest of the day. I think, I feel like if anybody understands what it's like for men to get into that head fuck space and not to be able to get a boner, it's people like you and me, because we've seen that happen so many times. They struggle a little bit and then they, and then the wheels start spinning and, and you can see it while it's happening. And they're like, okay, just one minute, just one minute. I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom to like, watch porn on their phone or something and you're like it's fucked oh, yeah. the scene is fucked like because or, they're... or it makes them come early because then they get insecure they don't control it anymore and now mm-hmm. you're like so how long is your refractory period because i need to know if we're ready to continue or do you need to like be replaced and then the girls yeah. the fuck because one we don't like sucking limp dicks for 30 minutes to try and get you hard i've done it i'm that go-getter on the set like if my dude's not getting hard i will try my best but when they're, after they come and you're like, listen, I'm not here for you to come twice. This is a job. Okay. Now, mind you, if like Johnny Castle came on me twice or like Manuel, I'm going to just wait. Okay. I'm just going to yeah. be there. Yeah. <laughs> still- you know they're going to come back. Yeah. That's why I don't fuck new dudes anymore. I'm like, yeah, no, I won't deal with that. But that, I think that's another thing is new guys are definitely the ones. And you deal with like the twisties, the babes, the naughty Americas that it's like, oh, we're going to use this new dude today. And you're like, my little day is going to be fucked. Thanks. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.